Bipolar disorder is a psychiatric disease characterized by episodes of extreme mood swings, depression, and mania. Depression is characterized by feelings of hopelessness, low energy, reduced interest in everyday activities, suicidal tendencies. Mania is characterized by excess activity to the point of exhaustion, euphoria, aggressiveness. Two distinct areas of the brain control mood regulation. A dysfunction of nerves in these regions is associated with bipolar disorder. Neurotransmitters are chemical messengers that enable nerves to pass signals to each other and are also found to be involved in bipolar disease. There is also strong evidence that bipolar disorder is inherited within family. Treatments for bipolar disorder include mood stabilizing agents like lithium, carbamazepine, valproate and others, antidepressants, other medications, non-medication therapies like psychotherapy and counseling. Bipolar disorder means that you've had at least one episode of mania. Um, you may also, with, if you have bipolar disorder, have episodes of depression, but you have to have at least one episode of mania. And mania is um, a feeling of euphoria, it's a feeling of your mind racing, uh, it's a feeling of um, energy, often people don't need sleep. With depression, sometimes people don't sleep. But they, but they feel fatigued the next day. With mania, people don't need sleep and they don't feel fatigued. They just carry on with this uh, hyper energy that they experience. Um, but as mania progresses and it becomes full-blown from hypomania to mania, uh, people aren't able to think logically and their, their thoughts are racing. They often become psychotic uh, and they become extremely impulsive and get themselves into trouble. who are suffering and haven't gotten help. Now, I talked with one veteran who went through the agony of PTSD for years because he just didn't realize he had a problem. Thing that I've, uh, learned it wasn't Desert Storm. It wasn't even the stress of Afghanistan or Iraq. For First Sergeant Cornell Soigne, it happened when he got back home. After coming back to Fort Benning, uh, <clears throat> I had a soldier who committed suicide. It's still tough on me to this day. Uh, to walk in the barracks room and to see a soldier, brain splattered on the wall, skull splattered everywhere. That was tough. That was really tough. Swanye had all the symptoms of post-traumatic stress. Flashbacks, nightmares, anxiety, irritability, withdrawal from friends and family, difficulty concentrating and adjusting to home. All of that is very normal to be expected. In most soldiers, those symptoms will fade over time. However, in some soldiers, those symptoms continue or get worse and interfere with their functioning with their friends, their family, or their work. And that's when you need help, because medics need to determine if it's PTSD or if it could also be mild traumatic brain injury. A lot of us remember from our days playing high school sports, getting our bells rung, getting a concussion. With traumatic brain injury, that's what we're talking about. So how do doctors tell the difference? With MTBI, 
these aren't symptoms that start six months or a year later. They start within a day or two after the injury. So how do you get help? First of all, with this new chain teaching program, everyone from senior leaders to squad leaders learns that it's okay to get help. It's not gonna mess up your career. Post-traumatic stress disorder is a combination of psychological, behavioral, and physical symptoms that result from an out of the ordinary life experience in which one's life or integrity is threatened or in which one experiences through others, witnesses somebody else's life in danger. Now, we often think of PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, in terms of combat situations, and that certainly is true. Uh, in my years, I've seen over 2,600 combat vets from uh, Iraq and uh, Vietnam who suffer from PTSD. But people can also get PTSD from a rape, an assault, uh, a tr uh, childhood sexual abuse, uh, and other situations in which one's existence or one's integrity is threatened or put at risk. PTSD usually results from out of the ordinary life situations in which one is at risk and during which a person feels helpless and hopeless and unable to help themselves.